It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs under the lights on Thursday night. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins in... Justin Tucker all set, and we are set to see the cream of the crop in the AFC as we are underway here with the Ravens and the Chiefs. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Right to the air is Mahomes. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 69 yards. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra-quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Michael Dana just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. In motion, Aguilar. Throwing on second and long. Jackson. This complete left side to Aguilar. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now Jackson. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. The Ravens send their punter out now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Taking on the midfield logo. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Looking to throw is Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? To throw, it's Mahomes. I ah, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And he won't quite make it to the 25. 
Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Jackson, a short throw caught by Andrews. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. Bagalore in motion left. Now it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. In motion, Aguilar. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Chris Jones. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And take it right on the 30. My. Still shedding tackles. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. Man open left side is Brown. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They go play fake. Mahomes. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Butker now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Second and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll come up now third and three. Here's Jackson. A little short one there, caught by Likely. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. This second and four. Here's Jackson to throw. Looking for Bateman. He's got it complete. Jackson to Bateman there. First down, Ravens. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Holding offense. So the holding call on the offense, so they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. Mahomes going to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On third down, it's Pacheco. Shoves him aside near the 35. Still on his feet. He may go. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 70 yards. And the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the route is on here in this first half. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Jackson now. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Play action. Now Jackson. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. 
Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Mahomes now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. A seven-yard game. That's good for our Kansas City Chiefs. First and ten at the 50-yard line. Headed straight. It's Pacheco. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Pacheco gets it up the gut and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose and it's picked up by the Ravens and his guys will take over at their own 44 yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 44. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry and they're able to swarm him behind the line and his rough night continues. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. The tight end in motion right. They'll run it again with Henry. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional on this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. A handoff now for Pacheco. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where would be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, a quick throw there is incomplete. Here's the Chiefs punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Here's Hardy set to return. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. In motion, Aguilar. Throwing is Jackson. 
That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. From the gun, Jackson. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Chris Jones in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. Now a second and ten. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Now Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. To throw is Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout and they come up with the interception in the end zone. And yeah, they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. They're not in any rush offensively. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs first down. Again, it's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's Edwards Hilaire. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Off the option, it's Edwards Alaire. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. 
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.